Welcome to the Berlin LTE Advanced Testbed. This is a large-scale installation of four base stations, which we have installed on the HHI, on the Deutsche Telekom Laboratories, at Sigmundshof, and at the Berlin University of Technology. One of the particular aspects which we have are using here in this testbed is that we have enabled high-speed links between the base stations using optical fibers. In this way, we can exchange information between the base stations and this information exchange helps us to reduce the interference in the service area. If you take a bird's eye of view onto the testbed, then you see that it emulates a classical interference scenario. We have a central cell of interest and we have the six surrounding interfering cells. We are using this testbed for doing field trials of active interference management, of cooperative multipoint techniques, of quality of service aware, service provisioning. And all this helps us to uh, build the future wireless internet and in particular to supply multimedia applications over it. Hello from Berlin. We are here in the LTE Advanced Testbed sitting in our measurement car and we are connected via air from the base station at very high data rate of more than 100 megabit per second to our terminal here in the van. So the LTE Advanced Testbed is used to study the newest technology which gives us a, a future perspective towards the future internet supporting multimedia applications at high mobility and we are connected to our colleagues in the Heinrich Hertz Institute in the lab. Hello Lars, can you see us? Hello Thomas, I can see you and I can clearly hear you. So we are connected over the air and we, we have the connection, a broadband internet uh, in both directions from the lab to our car and we drive around here at the Ernst Reuter square in the center of Berlin. Yeah, I can see you directly driving around the square towards the, the uh, Statue of Victory on the map here. So what I cannot see is the, the speed, the actual speed you are driving. So the speed. Andreas, what is the speed we are driving? The speed is now at approximately 50. So Lars, we drive at the moment around 50 kilometers per hour. You see it's afternoon traffic, everything is packed with cars. But you see, we have the good connection to you. So mobility and high speed internet connection is not a problem. So what is the actual data rate you support right now? So the actual data rate, I have to look, it's 146 megabits per second. You see it here on the screen. Here we see all the important parameters of our system. So that's the channel, how it changes. Uh, that is the signals we receive from the base station. And that's the actual data rate we have at the moment for this terminal, which is 149. Can you show us the yeah, the mobile terminal that's here, that's a grey box and that's connected with the antennas at the roof of the car and here we have Ethernet connectors which co are connected to this laptop and in this laptop we have the applications running which allow us to communicate with you over the air uh, while driving here in Berlin. Okay, so can you just quickly summarize the key features of, of the system and the, the applications you are going to show us? So. The key features of the system is the support of mobility and broadband internet access, meaning that we have a broadband wireless interface, we can move and we have a link adaptation which transmits more bits if we have a good channel, less bits if we have a bad channel and that's made such that we have a quality of service we can provision to our users for different uh, multimedia applications. So we have voice over IP, we have video services, we have streaming and uh, interactive video conferencing and browsing to the internet. And I will show you this in a minute. I just have to 
switch to another application at the laptop in front of me. As you can see, we have a highlight video in the background of our screen. We can see Lars in the conferencing tool at the same time. And we have an internet browser open here. And we can click here when we are here on the website of HHI. You see the testbed where we drive in and we can do all the multimedia applications at the same time.